Thank you very much. Just, uh, just like the nice lady said, we are Sean Michaels. I am Sean Westfall. This great big steaming pile of improv sexy time is Mr. Michael Johnson. We're going to do some long form improvisational comedy for you today. Uh, you, I'm you, doing uh, this uh, make sure you want to get out here. Uh, uh, do some long form improvisational comedy for you tonight. Everything you see on the stage will be completely and utterly made up. You'll be seeing it for the first and last time. To get us started, we need one word and one word only. Emporium. 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 Thank you very much. Emporium. Em Emporium. I have a lot of experience with Emporium. Why, do, do, why, why do you have a lot of experience with Emporium? Uh, they're big stores, right? I, <laughs> yes, the employees. That's, like, that's, that's what I associate like with uh, like a product like carpet. Yeah, it's, it's a you carpet. You go to a carpet, carpet emporium. emporium, right? Right. Or uh, you see a veritable plethora of carpet right. and flooring uh, uh, materials. It's uh, it's got the word uh, sort of like uh, emperor in it. Like you would be a king. In fact, we have king's carpet where I'm from in Frederick, Maryland. Right. So it, it sort of just comes with it. Yeah. If you have an emporium, you are you are the shit. You are royalty. royalty. You are the badass of whatever and thing I'll, you're in. I also say that every time I pass a carpet store, yeah, I look inside and I am like, I feel very sorry what? for anybody that has to work there. Why? It, I, you just walk by it and it just seems boring. <laughs> like you just show up and you're going, this is it. And you walk in and you got that smell. Yeah, I would, it would. Yeah, just like all those, like all those carpets, like treated with like chemicals and crap, and it's. Yeah, I, I, like there's probably a huge like like. People like, that sell. There's probably like a class action lawsuit among people who work at carpet cleaners because they're all coming down with some form of cancer due to those 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 chemicals. Because wow. that that's fucking comedy right there. Yeah, that's. <laughs> that's that in mattress stores. Ma yeah. I couldn't sell mattresses. <laughs> what 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 could you sell? No, I'm not a salesman. No. <laughs> I saw I, I can sell food. Yeah. I don't know much much about it though. Yeah. yeah. In, Emporium. Uh, you were talking about carpets. Carpets makes me think of of um, uh, of, of, of uh, Oriental rugs. There's another store, right? There, there's a lot of Oriental rug stores, especially in in DC where where we live. Um, uh, there's a there's a caste system regarding what's on your floor. Do you guys know this? Are you guys familiar with this? Oriental rugs are the higher caste. That's like that's like the the king emperor of rugs, right? You have an Oriental rug. Um, the more threadbare, the better. Anyone know why? Why? No. Okay, it's not a fucking quiz, Sean. Why don't you tell him? Uh, be, uh, because it's been in your family longer. It's where it has older. It's like has that stench of aristocracy. What, what would be what would be the untouchable carpet? <laughs> uh, uh, probably something you get at a fucking carpet store. Right? <laughs> still say closed. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very good question, my liege. I'll, I'll answer it all. Um, apparently, according to the state of Maryland, you can only stay open certain hours of the day. What? I know! That was my reaction as well when the man from the state government told me and said I could not be open earlier than that. I'm sorry, your carpet emporium, sir, <laughs> could not be open any earlier than that. You have a problem with that, you know that. Well, yes, I... I believe that sometimes this is your store. <laughs> well, I like to think... Uh, there was a customer in last night, and you said, well, I have a beige piece that nope. you would like. I have misspoke, my liege, I apologize. For... I, and I was back... In the 
break room. I... And I heard it because I have cameras everywhere. I... Yes, I know all about the royal monitoring system, sir. I, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's my undoing quite frequently. It caught me doing things I shouldn't have been doing. And I humbly apologize, my liege, for assuming a, an ownership role um, over what is clearly thy emporium, my liege uh, king emporium carpet. <laughs> Your sales record is uh, a far cry from the freedom that you seek. <laughs> it wasn't necessary, was it, sir? Well, yes, it was necessary. You're an indentured salesman. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying, sir. It's, it's, I, I, I have to be honest. I, I don't think um, customers are... Uh, attracted to um, uh, your specific kind of carpet wares, my liege. My carpet wares? Yes. <laughs> W-A-R-E-S, where? You know, the thing, the fair that you're selling, the, 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 the wonderful fabric that doth grace our flooring here and in on display walls uh, all behind us. It's not because I choose to wear oriental rugs for pants. No, it's... <laughs> it, it is a little off-putting, my liege. I speak, of course, with the great respect that it might be just a tad off-putting, my liege. Uh, you guys open? Uh, well, why don't you ask the manager? <laughs> She'll handle it, my liege. You guys open? Um, yes, sir. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. What the fuck was that? Welcome to the Emporium. <laughs> Feel free to look around. <laughs> but you must know that if there is theft or comments about my many wives posterized along the walls <laughs> that the penalty can be death. What, what the fuck is he fucking shouting about? What the fuck is going on? Just do me a favor and go ahead and um, he has uh, kneel with me to pay our respects to the King Emporium. I right, fuck, what the fuck? Get the fuck off your knees. Guards! An F-bomb has been dropped! What the fuck? What? What's going on? What the? Hey! 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 Fuck! I don't. My, I. The salesman said that they would get blood out. I and don't I'm going think to hold him to it. My liege, I don't think that's legal. I mean, staying open prior to longer than death. This is that's one. This is another thing altogether. With all due great respect, my liege, we have murdered a customer. Yes, and the morning's still early. We could murder an employee! <laughs> I don't think you understand the, the, the model here. You, you, if you kill the customers, you're not going to make a profit. It's almost guaranteed. He soiled my rug with his filthy mouth. <laughs> my liege, you... He, he, bring me his head. <laughs> What should we do with the rest of the carcass? <laughs> I want you to prove your servitude. No, 
aiding and abetting a murder isn't enough? I want you to rub his nose in his own blood. Uh. That will teach him. <laughs> teach him he's dead! He can't learn much else except how to not breathe! He has family members, I'm sure. <laughs> Word of this will reach them. And we will have clean mouths in this emporium. <laughs> Rub his nose in his own blood. As you, as you wish, my lady. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh my God. don't commit, do you? <laughs> That's what you do, you lack commitment. I don't commit. <laughs> Maybe I, if you could commit I'm to this, I'm the severed head. would transfer I'm into your the nose record. of the severed head. Maybe you back. would meet your core. On his own body. <laughs> if yeah. you could commit. I can't commit. Fuck off. <laughs> I heard the F-bombs. I uh, was proactive, like we talked about in my evaluation. I wasn't going to wait for you to summon me. Uh, I took the initiative. So, um, let's hope we remember that. <laughs> I, I, I throw myself on the mercy of His Majesty's grace and honor. I plead, uh, clemency. Uh, please do not sever my head as you have done, commanded done, to what was formerly our first customer. Um, I beseech thee I shall hold my tongue, uh, and try to, um, uh, make my, uh, quilted for this month, I swear. Oh, we're really committing now, aren't we? <laughs> yes. You told me to F myself. <laughs> it was the wrong choice of words. <laughs> you, uh, my lead, I, See, I, you think this is your store. That is the problem. You think you own the place, which henceforth leads to you to rest on your laurels and then not to commit. And your sales record is piss poor. It's a matter of record, my leash. I just swore, I'm sorry. <laughs> your sales record is unclean. I'm, I can't let this pass. We will have to sever your head. If! You can accomplish this one task. It's anything, my liege. I am at your mercy. I am your humble, loyal servant. Change the local blue laws so we can say open later. <laughs> and open earlier. If you can accomplish that, I won't cut off your head. Well, Daryl won't cut off your head. <laughs> my liege, you clearly ask the impossible. Have you attempted in any way, shape, or form to deal with the government of the United State of Maryland. <laughs> yes, I had to secure a business permit. You see that little dollar that's stuck on the wall? That's from the Treasury Department. They gave that to me in a ceremony that I can't speak of because I get emotional. <laughs> it was my proudest day. It was my first dollar. What is your answer? I shall do my best, sir, to preserve uh, my own life and the viability 
of thy emporium, my liege, your honor, sir. So be it! Followed. I think not. You know, both of us could be killed. I understand. It's an extraordinary thing I ask of you, and I appreciate your willingness to meet me here and perhaps accommodate my request. You will be doing me a significant favor. It will spare my life back at the Emporium. <laughs> I'm missing a Rotary Club meeting right now. <laughs> meeting. I do apologize for taking you out of the Rotary Club meeting. But it is, of course, of the greatest importance that I speak to you. I, I need for the Emporium, which... I was going to meet the mayor of Catonsville for the first time. <laughs> he, he, he runs the, the coffee shop, right? I love that place. What is it that you want? I thank you, Paul. I request that the Emporium, which for the Met record is not mine, I do not own it, is, um, we are, be allowed to extend our hours of operation early in the day and later in the evening. What? I know! I know! It's very, very important! Extraordinarily, sir. My life is at stake. My head will be cut off. Your boss sounds like a prudent businessman. <laughs> well, what can you do for me? Oh, God. Um, I can give you half off. <laughs> the whatever carpet of your choosing, uh, half off any square footage number you want. You want me to risk my good standing in this public and amongst the city council members for half off a rug. <laughs> it's a really good one. We have some oriental rugs. <laughs> I even can get some that are threadbare. My family. We, uh, we had to have Afghan rugs. <laughs> oh, God, it must have been awful. We were in an oriental rug neighborhood. I bet Chevy Chase, Maryland. It was hard. I bet the other children laughed at you. So they wouldn't even speak to me. Did they call you Ganny behind your back? Yes. They assumed that I was of Afghan descent. No, but of course one would, wouldn't they? Being ignorant as they were of your plight, economically and sociologically. <laughs> If you could procure... I could! Seven oriental rugs. Seven! Seven! Yes, one for each member of my family. So that we could move back into Chevy Chase. <laughs> and, and leave beautiful Catonsville? Ah, yes! Leave beautiful Catonsville! I shall procure these for you or not. You shall have them. You and every member of your family, uh, up to seven, <laughs> shall have a threadbare oriental rug. Certified threadbare by the Threadbare Oriental Rug Association <laughs> International Forum. You have 24 hours. 24 out. OK. All right. OK. What can I? Have the license when I get the rugs. What? If I go back without the license, you won't get the rugs. 
So fast, my liege, I, could I borrow, um, seven of model 45324? Four, four, what? Well, um, just to, 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 to line the, to create goodwill amongst our fellow members of the, of the Rotary Club set here in this wonderful hamlet of ours. You promised seven oriental rugs. Fred Baird. Are they Fred Baird? Fred. Are they Fred Baird? Fred Bread? <laughs> they are Fred Bear, my niece. Oh, Fred Bear, yes. Certified Fred Bear by the Fred Bear oriental rug. See, you know the carpets, but you can't sell them. And now you want to give them away to accomplish what I asked you to set out to do. I must ask, my liege. I could have offered the gentleman from the city council seven oriental rugs. I could have picked up How the phone. did you know, my liege? Word travels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right, I... Okay. You know, fuck it. Fuck it. 